Hello family, I welcome you back to my channel. This is Ekia Nyamye. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much. If this is the first time you are coming across my video, hello, I am so glad you are here. So in this video, we'll be talking about four things to look out for when you are dating a guy. There are a lot of them, but in this particular video, I'll be talking about four. And these four things, I want you to pay attention to them. You see this whole relationship thing? You need to date right, you need to choose right, and you need to be smart. So the first thing you want to pay attention to is that how does your boyfriend react when you have a problem? When you have a problem, for instance, you lost your phone, you broke your phone screen, you drove into someone's car, someone drove into your car, and then you call him and you are like, babe, I just lost my phone or I just broke my phone screen. And he's like, okay, so what are you going to do about it? And he distanced himself from the whole thing. Like, I am not saying he should offer to buy you a new phone no if he offers to buy you a new phone that is fine but he should at least make an effort say something okay so what what do you think we can do i have a small phone there can i bring it to you so that you put your sim in and use for the meantime okay i have a friend who knows someone who repairs a phone let me call him and then ask if he can fix the screen for you oh okay i have a friend who has a very good mechanic let me see if he can something he tries to at that time help or offer a solution to the problem that you have there because every relationship most relationship is we go into the relationship to study the person to know if you can take the relationship to the next level so you have to know that if i decide to take this relationship to the next level when in future i have a bigger problem how is the person going to react to it the second thing we want to pay attention to is that how does he react to bad news for instance you lost a parent and then you tell him you lost your parent and he's like oh, okay i'm busy i'll call you back no i know some someone will say who does that someone did that i know someone who did that i am asleep when i wake up i'll call you no the person doesn't have to be with you for 24 7 no but you see that the person makes a conscious effort to be with you to talk to you to be there for you at that time that you are mourning if he has if he has any free time he wants it to be with you if he has any free time he wants to talk to you on the phone to make sure you are okay not someone who will behave as if you don't as if nothing has happened don't want to go on with such a person how does he react to bad news the third thing you have to pay attention to is that how does he react to pressure for instance your ex starts calling you giving you pressure you tell your boyfriend that babes this my ex has started calling me and i don't know what to do and he's all over the place he is angry why is he calling you why are you even allowing him to call you why does he have your number why no someone will go like oh okay then i think you should block him don't you think you should block him or okay maybe you can change his ringtone so that when he calls you know that he's the one calling and then you decide whether to pick the call or not you come back and tell your boyfriend your your boss is giving you pressure at work or someone is giving you pressure at work and he is all over the place like he's not able to offer any solution how does he react to pressure and the last thing i want you to pay attention to is that how does your boyfriend react when you say no <laughs> for instance he tells you this i i need money give me money to do this and you don't have you you don't have at that time and so you tell him please i'm sorry i don't think i have and he will not talk to you for days. He'll start giving you attitude for days because he told you to give him money and you didn't have. He tells you, I want sex. He meets you the first three months and he wants sex. And you are like, no, I don't want, I can't give sex. I don't want to give sex at this time. And he's like, if you don't want to give sex, okay, so there are better, there are other ladies out there that I can have sex with them. Sex is a cheap, someone said sex is, a, is the cheapest commodity. And so don't worry, I can't get it outside and that is it he just says it and then we're finding where the and this is the person you want to go on the next level in your relationship with my dear the relationship thing see it as a form of interview where you want to make a decision when you start a relationship with a person it's not like because i've started in a relationship with you automatically it's leading to marriage no you want to is the knowing state you want to know the person and make a decision out of it so don't feel entitled like I've decided to be with you and that is it. When things are not going the way you want it, work out. As a lady, when you are going out with a man, you should know when to work out. You should know when to hold on 
and she know when to run out. My name is Ekia Nyamie. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button. If you love this video, and I think you should go and watch the video I made about six secrets you should never tell the man you are dating. Thank you so much once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Nyamie Kaanho.